Alrighty, I think you say that Medea, but this is a 3.1 cubic foot two-door refrigerator freezer and I just really think I would like this better than my chest refrigerator freezer. Now, this is 110 volt and that's 12 volt. We put that front load four and a half cubic foot uh, 12 volt in Bill's van and the, the front load I just really like. So this is just pure experimental right now. We're going to uh, see how it does. If it works, it's gonna be great because it'll just slide right into there. Alrighty, let's take a look at the specifications. As you can see, it's a 3.1 cubic foot, 60 hertz, and it's rated at 0 0.85 amps. So, this is the important part. This is the part we have to look at because rule of thumb is it takes about one amp of DC to make 10 amps. No, no, that's wrong. One amp of DC run through an inverter to make 10 watts of AC. So once again, that's one amp of DC pulling from your battery, running through an inverter to create 10 watts of AC. So this is figured at 115 volts. So 0 0.85 of 115 is about 97 point something. So let's just round that up and say this is going to take 10 amps of my DC power to run this refrigerator. So if, we, if it ran constant for one hour, then you're going to have constant for one hour, it will use 10 amps of DC. So, as we all know, refrigerators don't run continually. So if this runs half the time, it comes up to, to its cooling temperature and its sh compressor shuts off, and it doesn't come back on for a few minutes, and at the end of an hour, it has only run half or 30 minutes, then that means that it is only taking five amps per hour to run this refrigerator. But that's what we have to see. We have to see if my 300 of solar with my 200 amp hour battery is gonna be sufficient to take care of that. So, here we go. We're gonna plug it in. I've got shore power plugged in. We're gonna cool this bad boy down using uh, my 110, uh, you know, my 110 volt shore power and so that won't affect the batteries at all. Once this cools down, then we'll start our test. Now, something to, to remember. These things need to sit upright for several hours after you receive them, because if they ship them laying down or something, that puts the uh, oils out of the compressor up to where they're not supposed to be, and that can really damage the compressors. So, we've had this thing sitting for about Oh, six hours or so. So I believe we're going to be safe. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and plug it in. I do have it turned off. And let me show you what the inside of this refrigerator looks All like. All right, I turned off the fans. You can see it hanging there. You know, it's we're in the middle of this uh, extreme heat warning, 110 degree feel like temperatures and it's just been kind of miserable but let's take a look at this bad boy start with the freezer 0 0.9 cubic feet so just a tiny bit less than one cubic foot of freezer space which is pretty good size you can see the water bottle there down below you got 2.2 cubic feet down here it's got a crisper you can see i put some water in there place for your beer or sodas 
this will be nice it'll hold a two liter or milk carton you know all right well we've got it off it is plugged in so let's see if this bad boy will come on yeah there's the light we want to cool it down so we're going to take it to max all right let's see if that compressor will come on It's quiet. All righty. It's currently, let's see. Let me look at my watch here. It's currently four minutes after one. Let's let this thing run for until two o'clock. And at two o'clock, we will start our test on the power consumption of the uh, van. All right, see you at two o'clock. All right, just to give you a little perspective here of the temp. Side of the van is 108.7 degrees. <laughs> it's a little warm out here. front of the refrigerator is 96.8 degrees. Here we are approaching two o'clock. So let's see here. Open the door. Oh, I feel the cold air. 23 degrees. And down below. 57 degrees. Alright, that still needs to get a little colder in the lower part. But, I think we'll go ahead and start our test. So, the first thing we're going to do is turn the refrigerator off. And the reason that we turn it off I was going to unplug it, but I don't need to. The reason we turn it off is because you've got to give it about 15 minutes for the oil in the compressor to settle down before you turn it right back on. Kill these fans here so I can talk. All right. Let's just go over my system. I have a 200 amp hour lithium Lipro 4 battery so that's 200 amp hours and then i charge it off of my energy system here if it's on shore power which it has been it charges off of this um, lithium battery charger so down here is my 1200 watt inverter you can see this extension cord runs over here. I guess I should have moved all this first. Yep. To this junction box. And then this white cord right here runs up to the plug in the front. So what I'll have to do is I just have to switch to where this white plug runs off of the inverter now. So I'm going to do that, give it that 15 minutes for the compressor to rest, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, on this experiment, we're going to see how well my system does. I'm going to let this thing run until uh, sometime tomorrow. So, let's see. Alrighty, it's been 15 minutes. Here we are at amps that are going to be drawn. I'm going to reach over here, turn this bad boy on, and let's see what happens. 
All right, I turned off the solar array to see how many amps this bad boy is drawing. And it is drawing 5.81 amps. That's coming strictly off the battery. 5.8 amps. And that's with the compressor running. All right, we've got a hazy day. I'm gonna turn the solar back on and let's see how much that will compensate for. Solar's back on. <laughs> solar array is actually putting somewhere around three amps back into the battery so what that basically means is as long as i've got sun I, that will run my refrigerator and keep my batteries topped off all right so We'll continue this on. Like I said earlier, it's very hot, so it's a perfect time to uh, give this test a try. We'll check back periodically through the evening and just see how it is. But the part that I'm the most interested in is first thing in the morning after running all night off of just my battery, how much power will I have left? And then we'll the solar panels be able to recoup during the next day all right see you later on all righty it's been let's see about five and a half hours you can see it's uh, almost dark let's take a look here yeah it's running right now it's using 5.43. If I turn this off, you won't be able to see, I don't think. It's using right at 5 amps. And let's take a look. Well, that's frozen hard. It says it's... 29 degrees in there. Yeah, my battery's about dead. Look at that. But that's frozen hard, so that's a good sign. That's saying 51. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some of the analog thermometers and put in there to check for the temperature come morning. All right, let's see where we've got it set. Got it set on medium. Let's go a tiny bit colder. Because I would like the freezer to be at least 20. And I need this to be 40. So that's uh, our target goals. 15 to 20 there and 40 to 45 there. All right, let me get those thermometers and we'll check back in the morning. All righty. Oh, by the way, uh, it, I'm still at 98% on my batteries. So I basically use 2% as of uh, right now. All right, catch you in the morning. Alrighty, it is almost 7.15. We actually started this little test at 2 o'clock. So that would be about 17 hours this thing's been running. And we are at about 87% on our battery. The sun is just starting to come out. And we're already gaining amps back into the battery. 
the freezer compartment is at 10 degrees and the refrigerator compartment is at eh, what is that 38 degrees so we are I, I I can't believe this is working so well it's almost scary I'm gonna have to continue testing but as of right now why in the world would you want you know as long as you have the solar array and a big enough battery and of course you'll have to have an inverter but why not do this it, it just I, I am excited believe it or not old trail medic doesn't even have words for it anyway yeah great big giant thumbs up this is a game changer this is really gonna be a game changer so I've got to do a little work here, which means uh, I'll have something to do for the next few days. All right, next part of my test, and it won't be on this video, but I am going to turn on the vent fan and just do everything like I was camping in the van, and we'll see how it does. So, thanks for watching. I, I hope this helps i will do some future videos to maybe clarify it even a little more but my initial findings are you can use a 110 volt refrigerator with 12 volt lithium batteries and a solar array um yeah huge game changer i got that thing on sale for 139 dollars wow amazing okay Thanks for coming along. See you on the next one. Later.